pretty good. You know, got to, a lot of guys got to heal our bodies up, get some rest. Um, but, man, I'm excited to get back and play again. I was watching a lot of games Saturday and just a year to get back on the field. So, a picture of this, and you'll probably give me one more to answer, but how's your body feel? <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does this team need to work on? Uh, here in this week as you get ramped up for these final three games? I think the biggest thing is just, um, you know, getting back to what we're, what we're good at. Uh, offensively, got to be more explosive, got to be more consistent. You know, I got to be better, got to take better care of the football. Um, receivers, we got to, you know, block better on the perimeter. Um, got to get our run game going. I mean, everybody has the things they got to focus on that we have to focus on offensively. Um, and it's just my, it's my job to not let anybody you know, try to cut corners or um, anything this this week at practice. Um, Got to just look in the mirror and figure out what it, each individual can do to get better, and then just just attack it and and not try to you know make any any more excuses. We got to win games from from here on out, and, and that's ultimately what we're gonna um, continue to try to do. Avery, when you've rewatched your own games, what have you seen when you're on the perimeter running the ball? What do you think you can do a little bit better in that area to help this team? I don't know. Um, as far as the running, uh, I think it just comes with, you know, uh, if I get some space, I mean, maybe being a little bit more explosive there, but uh, I don't know as far as what, what I can do um, running the ball wise. Okay. Uh, do you find yourself looking at the Big 12 standings and the scores, given that, uh, you know, you guys do need a little bit of help to get in the Big 12 championship game? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously not the best place to be in because, you know, um, going into that Houston week, we, ran the ran the tables and ultimately if we handled our business then um, we controlled our destiny from that point and now we just need a little bit of help uh, if we want to continue to play for that big 12 championship but I mean at the end of the day if we don't win these last three games none of it really matters anyway so just focusing on controlling what we can control and if the cards fall on fall on our table then um, we'll be excited and but just trying to take it one week at a time Was it a good or a bad thing um, to be dealing with a you know, dealing with the loss, how do you think the guys handled that mentally? I mean, nobody wants to lose, so, um, but I feel like the best thing about, um, you know, losing is you get to look back and, you know, find ways to, to improve, and um, I feel like losses are really only negative things if you don't find a way to improve from them, so what, what we really wanted to emphasize last week is, you know, finding two things we each and every one of us can get better on, um, and then, you know, trying to improve uh, week in and week out. But, I mean, obviously nobody wants to lose, and it's never a good feeling to, to come come up short um, any time. But, I mean, we're a 7-2 and two team. Not a lot of teams have seven wins this year, and I feel like a lot of times we can, you know, kind of overlook the success we've had this year. But ultimately, um, I, would, I would rather be 9-0 and than 7-2. and two, So, What is the next step for Avery Johnson's development? Um, just continuing to – Get more comfortable in the pocket, stand in there, stand tall, make some throws. Um, and I feel like just, you know, not being uh, kind of that stereotypical guy, you know, just kind of letting the game come to me um, and and just playing, you know, football, not necessarily trying to be a cookie cutter quarterback. It's not the type of person I am, not the type of quarterback I am. Just kind of letting the game come to me, letting things flow and, you know, kind of just let, letting plays happen and just being myself out there. Coach Kleiman said one of the nice things about the off week is that a lot of the younger guys got to have some in-pad practice. Just from what you saw, was there anyone that kind of stood out that, that maybe will be able to, to help you guys down the, the home stretch of the season? Yeah, there's a lot of young guys. Um, that is one of the best things about, you know, the bye week is those guys get to put the pads on and, you know, kind of compete. And I feel like just watching in some of those scrimmages offensively, um, I think uh, Jacquees looked look pretty good. Obviously, Blake is, is still doing um, really well. Uh, Devon looked really good. Our, our young running backs, Devon and JV, looked really good offensively. And we have some young um, offensive linemen that, that, look, that look pretty talented. Um, and then, obviously, like Zayshawn Rich, um, he, got, he gets a lot of playing time this year. And um, he got to showcase kind of what he can do in those um, development practices. So just looking, you know, for for guys that you know want to compete and um, want to go out and, and give their all in practice every day. So there's a lot of guys out there that look, look like they look the part. Anything else? Okay, we'll do the last one here. 
you get bye week an opportunity for you to watch some other games mm -hmm. just out of curiosity have you gotten a chance to watch what will's done at ohio state and if so what do you kind of think about his season uh yeah i uh watched some other game versus purdue and um they look pretty dominant in that game and uh talked to him a few times this year um between or after games and before games and stuff just kind of trying to see how he's doing so Obviously, it's it's really good to see him um, be successful and have a lot of success at Ohio State. Um, but uh, just just really, you know, grateful that I got to spend time with him here.